mission of the Lowell Milken Center is for kids to discover, create, and then present projects on unsung heroes from history. The Lowell Milken Center takes those unsung hero projects, puts them in their museum in Fort Scott, and it's all kids. It's kid-led, kid-created, and kid-discovered. Part of the goal in students designing, creating these Unsung Hero projects is they learn the character of these people and the role models that they are by discovery, by research, and they take that in and they're invested in that research and therefore they own that learning that they have. There are three modules within the curriculum. Module one is very low level. It's just getting into the idea of what is a hero, what is a role model. It's very heavy character ed. That way the students can kind of start seeing the connections between heroes and role models and that character piece that goes along with that. Module two is where you start to dig into the idea of an unsung hero. Somebody from history who hasn't been discovered. And that leads to its own challenges, but it also leads to its own discoveries. and. Quite honestly, it's a unique process for the students to jump into. How many are social studies teachers here in the room? Are we all social studies? How many are ELA? Science? Good? Because PBL is, is it's everywhere and it's every class and uh, cross-curricular is what this is designed to do. And for those of you that are social studies teachers, module three is a model for the new 2020 assessment which will be performance-based, project-based learning. And you can literally take Module 3, work, work through that, have your kids do, go through that process, and that could be your state assessment. We're gonna dig into Module 1 and give you a little taste. So my biggest tip for how to find an unsung hero is get out of a textbook. Try it yourself. And if you don't like it, and if you're bored with it, then don't do it. So we're gonna give it a go. Um, we have here an image. So, is this person a hero, role model, or both? What I want you to do is take 20 seconds and discuss that with your table group or people around you and see what you think. Okay. Let's come back together. I don't want to give you a lot of time. You don't want to give your kids a lot of time. You just want to get the conversation started. So now what I want you to do, we're going to do a little presentation stretching. So the first stretch for the presentation, everybody raise your arms above your head. Oh, good, good. Okay, that's it. <laughs> now, get up. Everybody stand up. You've had a little discussion here. Yeah, I'm sorry about the desk. I want all of those who think, who believe, the actions of this person are heroic to come stand over on this side of the room. Those of you that feel that he's a role model, go to this side of the room. Anyone that thinks he's both, stay in the middle. All right, go. You can go to the middle. <laughs> go to the middle if you're undecided. So heroes over here. It has to be the male. The male. Yes. At this point, yes. We can discuss that, Dave. You're being sneaky as I want to. Yes. Role models over here, undecided or both in the middle. Now look around the room. We have two heroes. I'm assuming, correct? Yeah, okay, good, good. Undecideds or both here. And then where are our, our role models? Okay, so that's where the split is. Great. Now the question should be, as your kids look around the room, why? What is your justification for doing this? And that's the conversation you want your kids to have. And in module one, that's what they do. They're gonna discuss, they're gonna look at these traits, they're gonna pick those apart, they're gonna talk about these people and what they have done in the context of these character traits. And then they're going to be self-reflective with those character traits. Can they see themselves there? And that's, what, that's the point of module one. Is this person an unsung hero, a role model, or both? Just think about this. What are your thoughts? And, and no, and I know you see some of the eyes. You're like, You're like what? what? <laughs> no, seriously. 
And this is where the students are going to start, so give it a go. You can't fit in. Ah, perfect. So both of these, I want to hear them again. You can't know. Okay, and? To say confidence in the way he's standing. Okay. Good. And we had, we can't know. Any others? I think you don't know the context of where that picture was taken at, though, either. And so, I mean, it looks like it's a cropped out picture that just has him. And you don't know what else is going beyond. You don't know what led up to it. You don't know where he's currently at and maybe where he could be going after that. But I, I don't know how you can answer that question. That, and it's perfect. And again, we're on module two. We're going a little deeper. And this is unsung hero. And you have no context. So the essential question here is, you know, what are the important character traits of an unsung hero role model? And again, we're going through some analysis, only this time it's going to be a little bit deeper. You're going to get into some text analysis, not just the imagery. And we're starting with this because who this guy is. And when you start with an unsung hero project, you have no idea. You may start with something very innocent like this. And what comes out of that, the, paint, the picture that is painted, um, could be extraordinary. So module three begins with this. And this is an excerpt of the much bigger story that the kids would be working with in module three. Here's a young lady in a time when few girls went to school, who decides she's gonna to go to college. Becomes a nurse. What else? What else stands out? Even being a nurse would have fucked gender, because nurses were male. So to become a female, I mean, to become a nurse in that era would have been, to have, she would have had to directly compete with men. Correct. What else? Anything else stand out? The distance, going from New York, New Jersey, to Armenia, the distance that she, Covers. Yeah, it's phenomenal, and pretty much on her own. What sparked her interest? Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. Why is she doing this? What is her motivation? Anything else about the potential unsung hero-ness of her? That takes a lot of courage, especially as a young female during that time period. Yeah. And let's keep in mind, this is basically under the Ottoman Empire. And these are all questions that come out of this and the kids what they're left with they get a story they get a an abbreviated version of her story and they go through and they build an, a, a simple unsung hero project through Emma this could be where it begins this could be the spark that leads your students to discover their own unsung hero their confidence has gone through the roof they truly are experts the ownership that these kids feel, the expertise that they have concerning their unsung hero, because they are, in some cases, the world's expert on that person. Maybe not on the entire context of the entire situation, but on that person, they are. The state rubric, module three is one way you could do this. It hits the rubric. Right now, it hits all the little marks, and it's there. So I've been having students uh, create projects for 27 of my 34 years intensely uh, where they pick a topic that they have a passion for that they really want to learn about. And um, we have all sorts of topics, scientific topics, um, topics with uh, different individuals and, and or events in history. And then they research that. They learn the difference between a primary source, a secondary source. They learn to recognize what source is valid, if there's bias in that source, you know, who's the author, what's the intent of that source. Uh, they then take all that information, they, they put it in an annotated bibliography, they write a 500 word process paper, and then they create a project. And their project can be in the form of if they're by themselves, a research paper, or if they're by themselves or with a partner, they can do an exhibit or a documentary or a website or a performance. Um, by the time they come at, out at the end of that process, um, they are much more confident as a student. And like I said, they give presentations. I have them present to different civic groups all around the city and, and so forth. And, and some of these kids are super shy, but then because they know so much about their topic, 
they have that confidence and they can talk about it and um, it's just been a really, really rewarding experience. The fact that you're having students create projects, locate research, find possible unsung heroes and do projects on them, the rewards are just in innumerable.